So I, I have always thought that when you have cold showers, it's because you don't have enough hot water or your hot water heater is old or you have somebody who takes really long hot showers. I think the truth is actually you have a bad heating element in your upper unit and you need to replace it. So here's what I'm talking about. This came out of the hot water heater just a few moments ago, and it looks pretty like it's not heating things properly. And uh, basically, the way the hot, hot water heater works is the hot water comes in, it goes, obviously it goes into this upper portion, mixes with the hot water that's already here, and then it goes out this other line, um, and there are two heating elements. There's one down here, which is heating kind of everything, and hot water rises, heat rises, so it kind of mixes this whole thing. But then this one is designed to kick on and heat up the cold water as it comes in, so you're, you're like instantly trying to heat it up, so it kind of prolongs the, whatever this is, 50 gallons of hot water, so that you get, instead of a five minute hot shower, you get 10 or 15 minutes worth of hot water before the cold water kind of overpowers it. So we have had some cold showers recently and uh, I think that I have just solved it by replacing this. It's a super basic part at your local hardware store and it's about a 15 minute fix. So, um, Super easy for you to try and fix on your own. Parts you'll need. One is one of these universal uh, water heater screwdriver wrench, Canadilio's, a actual screwdriver, the universal tune-up kit, bah, bah, bah. Um, in this case, a hose to drain the hot water heater. Here's the basic rundown of what you need to do. First, you're going to hook up a hose, run it to a drain, and uh, drain out a good portion of the water in your water heater. At least this is true for me. Maybe it's not true if you have a water softener. Um, it's good to do this every few months, three months, six months, um, just to get like calcium deposits that, um, you know, sediment in your water. Um, to get it out of the bottom of your water heater and flush it. But at the very least, you need to get the water level down below where these heating elements are because we're gonna pop, in this case, just the top one. If you were changing out the bottom one, you would need to drain the entire tank. But we wanted to make sure that we were draining the water below this level. Um, step one is, of course, go turn off the breakers. Do not die, do not electrocute yourself here. Turn off the breakers. Then you're going to use your special uh, water tool uh, bar thing. I'll just throw my screwdriver through that hole on the end. That's enough to break the seal. And then it's simple to turn it by hand and uh, just swap the thing out. I mean, at this point, it's like changing a spark plug or any old screw in your house. Super easy. But what happens is the water, um, maybe it's because this thing is electronic, maybe because it's hot, but all these calcium deposits just seem to attract to it. That ends up creating like an insulating blanket on this thing. Maybe this thing is still good. I don't actually know. Like, can you just knock all of that calcium crap off there and maybe it's still good? Um, either way, we had this brand new one sitting here from when we changed out the bottom one. Oh. Yeah. See them both? All right. So di dirty. I'm saying that's what the problem was. It's that's too dirty that it can't clean, be, can't soak up anymore. It wasn't working anymore. So I'm saying we put this on here. Guys, this really is one of the more simple tasks you'll have to do. Um, you just screw it in, 
give it a little tighten. And then again, making sure that the breaker is off. Don't electrocute yourself. You just screw these two wires on here and then put the little blanket back on, put the cover on and you're done. It is so, so simple. Um, at the end, you're just going to close up all the valves um, down below at the bottom and turn the water back on to the water heater. Bada bing, bada boom. I hope more than anything what this video does for you is it instills a sense of confidence that you can do this. Uh, I had the benefit of having a friend who was a plumber over and he helped me change out the bottom one. So uh, that gave me the sense of courage to know what I'm doing. But you have YouTube and you found me. And I'm hopeful that by seeing me do this task, then you also are like, oh yeah, if he can do it, I can too. So totally give this a try. I have full faith and confidence in you. Um, stop taking cold showers and enjoy your hot water heater that still is fine. You don't have to spend $1,000 to replace it. Just spend a couple bucks replacing this heating element and uh, make sure to flush your unit every three to six months so that it doesn't build up those calcium deposits. We're on city water and uh, we still have this. Like the video, hit the subscribe button, and stay tuned for more updates from Spirit of a Handyman. He's got the spirit of a handyman.